David, today we're at Interco Special Steels and Alloys and we're working together on a fantastic project. But what I really want to investigate further um, and to educate our audience on really is, is all of the technical elements that go behind actually just getting the truck onto the machine in the first place. You're right. And one of the key things you need to know is the spindle taper of the machine. Because this is the part that the flange mounts to and that mates to the machine so the chuck's going to run true and fit correctly. And talk us through the spindle nose data sheet with the forward position, the backward position of the draw tube, the thread. Why is this uh, information critical and, and, and the draw tube adapter? Tell our audience or educate our audience on some of the problems that they may incur. Well on the back of this chuck here we've got a thread now that thread is obviously a standard thread that's, that's made in manufacture. Some machines have a direct fit, many don't. So this is where your draw tube adapter comes in. And this adapts that thread to the draw tube thread on the machine. Now the first thing we need, the second thing rather we need to know is the draw tube diameter, the thread size and pitch, and critically the forward and reverse position of the draw tube because that then gives us the stroke. And explain the stroke. Well the stroke is basically the open and close of the chuck. And you know is this something in your experience that can be overlooked at times? Vastly you know and, and in, in a lot of cases through no fault of their own we can get the information on the machine that's in the manual you know, in the, in the machine manual that came with the machine. We come in, we take the chuck off, it's totally different to <laughs> what the manual says. And, you know, you're not just supplying a collet chuck, you're supplying the complete solution. So, do you actually go out and measure the spindle noses for customers and do all of the technical um, information gathering so you can make the right parts so they fit um, as well as supply the chuck. We do, particularly on older machines because, you know, the reference date is, you know, hard to get hold of. Newer machines, they're easier, but even they can vary from, you know, what the manufacturer says it is. So, just to finalise really, if someone's looking to change their free jaw chuck to a Heimbuck collet chuck or any of your other products, you would be a good person to contact um, in regards to getting all of the spindle nose data for them. That's right, yeah. Cheers, Dave.